Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. We're out here with Craig at Fort Jackson on the Mississippi River, really far down the river. Honestly, we're not that far from the Gulf, but a good ways. We're probably going to get into some different types of fish today. Hopefully, we'll hit freshwater cats, but the salinity count here is undoubtedly higher than up where I'm at. So we're probably going to hit some brackish inshore type fish, gaff top, possibly bull shark, maybe bull reds. Who knows? We never know what we're going to do down here when the river is low, when it's as low as it is. It's got some people fishing over there where I normally go, so we're right here. Ooh, mullet. We need some fresh mullet. Look at that. We're both using mullet right now, but these are old from a couple days ago. I've got half of one right here on an 8 ot 50 pound liter 50 pound mono is my leader i'm using four ounces of lead he's using three that's why he's on that side of me the down river side and i'm using 80 pound braid i'm using my 8500 pin spin fisher bait runner on my 12 foot pin prevail heavy action rod it's just after 7 a.m right now and who knows how much time we have to fish there is a lot of rain in the forecast for today maybe 10 o'clock 11 o'clock it'll start getting bad it could get bad before then nice usually i would prefer to fish where you see them in the water i didn't want to crowd them i can get into a deeper hole there but this, this is fairly deep here too. We haven't even hit the bottom yet. Oh, and there's mullet. You can feel some rain on the air. Oh, it's already starting to rain good enough to where I want to put some stuff back in the truck. Ah, oh, this is pretty thick. Craig's already given up running. He's made a cotton candy. We're just gonna sit it out because it costs way too much in gas to give up this quick. Too much in gas to get down here. This is like maybe an hour's drive from Bell Chase. It's a rainbow out there. Oh, yeah. You can barely see it in the clouds. Yeah, I don't see it no way. Yeah, don't it sound bad. You're getting a bite, Craig. Get it, Craig. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yes. <clears throat> Yes, that is the whole reason why we came to Fort Jackson to put Craig on a big cat. I don't know how big he is, but I cast that out for him while he was in the truck because it was raining. Put a piece of fillet style bait on there. That's yeah, a four ot kale that he's running. I got him into deeper water than I am in. That's a nice one, man. It does look. Oh, you got a bite too? Yeah, you got something there. I've got my bait runner engaged. I don't know how big this is, but he's pretty nice, I guess. I'm hooked two? up. You got one? Yeah. All right, we both got one. You got a devil. Let's see what we got. We had to go through some rain, cotton candy man. Yeah. Yeah, I see mine on top right there. I see it, yeah. Pretty nice, it looks like. Oh yeah, I got oh, a big one. Oh yeah, Craig. Got a big one there. Oh, big cat. Big catfish. It's been a while since you caught a big cat. That might be your biggest, yeah, huh? Might. There's not much weight. You got to stay with it? Yes, I do. I might have to walk out there a little way to get him because it's too shallow. Right here. You get your fish grips on you? No, I don't. No, shoot. You're gonna be able to play him up into here really close. Okay. Big one, man. My fish grips are. That's Where are they going? You sure, watch that's a cat. Try to watch it all get you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Try to watch it all get to your line, man. You're fine. Yeah, that's a cat. Yes, it is a cat. Look at that. Place. That's a good size one, Craig. Just keep playing them up in here. Yeah. That's yeah, a nice one, man, for sure. About 20 pounds or better. Yeah. What you got? Is that the cat? I think so. Yeah. 
blue cat. Nice blue cat. Careful, a little bit. I think that's about all I get them right there. Yeah, that's too nice cat there. I can't get mine that far, I'll try to, but. Good, might be smaller than mine too, huh? Yeah, you have some birds like them. Okay. Yeah, almost awesome. Let me see that. You got a pair of pliers on you. No. Okay, so Craig almost lost this fish because he wasn't he didn't have his hook tied on. He had a snap. And look what the snap look what happened to the snap as he was bringing that fish in. It broke right as I put the fish down. Yeah, straighten up. Almost 24 pounds, Craig. 23.79. Can't pick it up any more than that. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I'm not gonna bother weighing my fish. It's probably about 15 pounds or so. That I think that's the biggest one you've got in a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You go barely pick that up. It's pretty heavy. Is it? It's only 23 something pounds. <laughs> yeah, you're right guys. Let's keep going. We're gonna let these go. Ah, uh, right there. You got them. Dang, they're getting out of the net too. Hopefully they didn't get all out. This net is kind of tore up a little bit. We got some, we got some, we got some. Two, two is good. Two nice ones too. Look how far the tide has came in since we've been here. When I got here, there was no water where I put the sand spikes. Good thing homeboy has the Chalmet Nikes on. Yeah, you're right. We got a really thick line of rain coming from up river. We're gonna have to put some stuff away. Did you get it? Yeah. Still got a rainbow out here and a sheet of rain. I think I might as well go sit in the truck real quick. It's probably gonna be like this all day. The longer we stay, the more storms we're going to have to put up with. Might get to a point where one of these storms just doesn't stop. But we're still here. We're going to catch some more cats. You hooked up? Oh, yeah. yeah that one hey, nice. You took off with it, Rod. Not a big is it? That bait just went out there too. Yeah, no, didn't might, didn't take too long. Nope. I don't think it'd be the last one was, but pretty nice. Yeah, I saw he tapped it a couple times and just took it. It don't feel as big as the last one, is that what you said? I don't know, I'm not sure. I think he's right here from my maybe. Still a nice fish though. That was something big right there. What was that over there? I don't know. That was a big fish. Yep. Whatever it was. It might be on, I may have filmed it and I just wasn't looking at it with my eyes. Yeah. That was a big one, whatever it was there. Man, well, how far out is this fish? Might take, take me to the next year to get me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him kicking on that rod yeah, tip. Oh, yeah. Getting a good fight. Yeah, he's a pretty good size. You haven't had a good day like this catfishing in a while, have you? No, uh, uh I don't know if he's stuck on the bottom or I can't pull him the water. He's coming. Just keep working him up that drop off. Yeah. Yeah, he's on top of that thing. Yeah. I see his yeah. dorsal. I'll give it that one if I got a stingray, but no, it ain't no stingray. No, it's it's a cat. It's not a shark, because sharks would be running back and forth and he's just kind of pirouetting. I can see on the rod tip that he's doing that. Yeah. Hey, come in a little bit now. Nice cat. Yeah, I think he's real big. 
Well, he's got his dorsal up, though. Yeah. He ain't real big. No. Ball, yeah, it's a decent eater though, Craig. Yeah. Want to keep? Uh, no, it's your fish, not mine. Get him, get fish, get him out. Hold him up real quick. Oh, okay. Another nice one for you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. All right. I figured they didn't hit him. Oh, there you go. There you go. Got him. Got him. Yeah. No, something small. This is a smaller hook. I dropped my hook size down. I dropped it down to a six aught, a smaller piece of bait. He, this guy over here, wade fishing, just got a stingray. I'm wondering if a bunch of them just came through because this, this doesn't feel like a cat yet. Oh, there it felt like a cat right there. This is not a big fish. It's been almost an hour and 20 minutes since the last fish. Everything is slowing down, but the tide is coming in. We keep moving the uh, sand spikes. I'm not saying that that means that fishing's picking up because the tide's coming in, but it is, it is getting a little better at the moment. Craig is getting bites and I've got this one on. He's starting to catch a bunch of fish, mostly small catfish. I think gaff top. Well, this isn't, isn't a super small cat, but it's not super big at all. Just an eater size, looks like a blue cat. I think dropping the bait size down is what did it the most. I do like to come here for big cats, but sometimes, sometimes you gotta, Think like you're looking for smaller cats to find big cats where you're just not going to get anything yeah you're right guys not very big i'm not going to bother weighing this fish i'm actually going to keep this fish maybe 10 pounds or less somewhere around there good eater size good amount of food for the house here yeah you're right I just put Craig's rod out because he won't come out. He can't get out as far as I can. And he's fighting a fish on mine, I think. Time with my left-handed stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can say. People always ask why why do you keep your reel handle on the right side when you're right-handed? Well, I grew up in a left-handed world, so I do a lot of things like that. Let me set yours up and then I'll take over. It looks like you're getting your butt whipped. Yeah, I am. I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle a right-handed reel. Oh, this feels like, I don't know. Feels like a nice fish. Yeah. You got him? Yeah. Thanks for jumping on it. Yeah. I was sitting there watching you out there and I heard that drag going. Here, see, I don't know if he's big, but I'm bringing him up against this drop off and he just got really light. He's still here. But now he feels less, he feels lighter than the one I just brought in. Oh, he's about the same size, he'd be a little smaller. I, I, that is a gaff top. I really don't, that is a big gaff top. 
I don't have a lot more room. I'm not keeping this fish. I don't have that much more room left in my chest. I've got a, one of my fish and one of Craig's. Craig's keeping a fish too. So there's two cats in there and some other things. I was reeling up the pool, you know, to wrap up this video yeah. and I felt something pull back. Wow, look at the head on this gaff top. He's, he's all punk rock looking. Yeah, go on. Go see that. Oh, on steroids. Yeah, go on. I ain't no foam on that. Like his brains or something. Look at that. Man, oh, that's crazy. It's like a pompadour. Yeah. What do you say? Pompadour? Pompa? Pompa? No, 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 no. That haircut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like Elvis. <laughs> I ain't no thought Cappy said that, man. Man. I don't think I'd eat that. There's something wrong with him. Yeah, I don't think I'd eat you that. You want them? No, oh, I don't want them. <laughs> That's probably good lumps of meat right there. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like, man, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Usually I love to end a video on a big fish. I wouldn't do this so much for this size fish, but look at that. He yeah. has been eating his Wheaties. That is the craziest <laughs> gaff top I've ever caught. And he's not even big. That's a weird fish. Yeah, we're going to let him go. All right, guys. Another good day down here. I always enjoy coming down here. We're wrapping it up now, though. It is the middle of the day. The bite has died. Craig and I want to go do other things. It was really cool to see Craig finally get a decent catfish on the channel. He hasn't got one. I think that was his biggest one ever, I think, before it was a 20 pound catfish and now he's got a 24 pound catfish i'd like to see him catch something even more massive than that because that's not a big fish right but he's happy he's actually bringing home a 10 pounder and i'm bringing one home yeah you're right guys thanks for watching liking sharing subscribing all that good stuff and i will see you next time